What's up, family and friends? Good afternoon. And welcome to this live broadcast. How are you doing today? Hope you are doing great. Knowing that it is well with you, no matter what you are facing, no matter what is coming at you, it is well with you because you still have the mind of your own. You have not lost your mind. And with that, you know what you can do and what you cannot do. You are the living. You are better than the dead. And you are not a living dead. You have your brain to think and do things for yourself. You can think your way through and you can do exploit with your hands without waiting for any God to come and do anything for you. A God that is waiting for you to starve yourself for some time before that God can respond. And that God never responded and you still have to go walk. You still have to go back. You still have to go still to have what you need. That God don't deserve your fear. That God don't deserve your faith. That God don't deserve your worship. It is time you wake up. If you still believe in the invisible God they give to you, out of fear, out of empty promises, it is time you wake up and trash all that. Trash that God. That God cannot help you. The only God and Goddess that can help you are your fellow human beings, male and female. The, all the He Gods, He Supreme Being, they are useless in reality, whether in African spirituality or in foreign religion. Every supreme being you believe in, they are useless in reality. They cannot help you in reality. So there is no true wisdom in the fear of God. There is no true wisdom in the fear of God. You have fake wisdom in the fear of When you are afraid, you are not living your real life. You are not yourself when you are afraid. You are self when you are bored. Because you know what's up with fear. You have fear because you don't know what to do or what is what is going to happen to you or what is about to happen. And some people don't know why they are suffering in life. Why whatever business they go in is not working. At the root of their problem is fear. And they don't know that's what they fear is coming upon them. They have that fear as their faith. They believe in that fear. No one knows tomorrow. Who tell you that nonsense? You don't know what will happen. Life doesn't come with a, a, with a instruction. They say, who told you all that shit? Do you know the people that tell you that are actually the successful people? They don't want you to be successful like them. Most of the things you hold as wisdom that is not working for you, we are told to you by people who don't want you to be where they are, to enjoy what they are enjoying. People that don't fear God, they are the rich ones. They are the, when you are talking about the richest people in the world, the rich people in the world, they don't fear God. Those people don't fear God like poor you. You believe all the nonsense they taught you about God, about Jesus, and you, you, you accept that program and begin to live like that, practice all the nonsense they tell you. You remain poorer while they are getting richer. You believe it's your sin that is holding you back. Why those who are committing worse sin than what you are committing are getting richer by day? Your problem is fear. Put that fear. When you put fear behind you, no one will, will defraud you anymore. 
because when you have put fear behind you, you will get to know. Will be you will dare to know. You will be you will be researching. You will be doing everything to know before you invest your money. Before you do anything, you want to know actually the whole thing about it. And that's why I want to speak on blind faith today. Blind faith is dangerous. Blind faith is cankerous. Blind faith is a disease. Only factual truth can cure. Blind faith, blind faith. Look at Africans. Africans have that blind faith. Since the invaders came to Africa, invaded Africa, and uh, changed Africans from reality to religion. African has remained blind in the world because of that faith they have an imaginary God, invisible God, invisible Jesus, invisible Allah, invisible Yahweh. Africans no longer don't lo, no longer know the difference between their right and their left. All they know is what some stupid people wrote in the book and gave to them and said that is the word of God. Then they believe, okay, there is also uh, when, when you play that written word of God in a tape or in a CD, it becomes the audible word of God. Or uh, when they hear it in their head, it, became, it becomes the audible voice of God or word of God they live by. Blind faith is dangerous. When you have blind faith, it means you believe in something or someone without reasoning or basis. You just believe. You don't think, they tell you one plus one, I mean one plus one equals to one. You say, I believe. That's blind faith. You believe. Because you don't know. You have faith because you lack knowledge. Blind faith is dangerous. There is no substance of faith. There is no evidence of faith. There is no substance of faith, but claim. There's no true knowledge of faith. Substance, evidence, knowledge is far from faith. That's why faith is blind. Yes, uh, I've heard some people say, oh, you must live by faith. You cannot live without faith. No, it is without knowledge you cannot live. You say, no, but you believe people will do this. You will, That's why people disappoint you. You believe they can do certain things. You don't know the details about it. You don't know what they're going through, but you look at them, maybe the way they dress, they wear expensive clothes. You think they can give you money. Why they don't have? I'm driving, right? Do I believe I can drive? No, I know I can drive. And I am driving. I prove it. You can prove your knowledge. You cannot prove your faith. I believe I can fly. Drop me. <laughs> Take me up to the tree or up to the mountain or up to the or up to the high high rise high rising building and throw and drop me and see if I can fly. I cannot fly. I believe I can fly. It's a lie. It's just a metaphor. It's not reality. It's not something you can hold. Blind faith is like what you see in your dream. How many of you dreamed last night? Of course, I dreamt. Didn't you dream last night? Mm. Imagine that. Or consider if all you have been seeing in your dream has been real or they are, rea they are re reality. Imagine how your life will be now. Consider that. What you see in the dream is just the dream. You see yourself in a one beautiful place in a dream where you have power controlling everything, you have money buying everything, having everything, everyone serving you. You wake up, find yourself still in the same place you are. Walking tree. <laughs> you think it's real, but it's not real. It's time you wake up. Blind faith is dangerous to your life. Blind faith nearly ruined my life, nearly destroyed me when I was a Christian. I have a dream, I begin to interpret it, I begin to apply it. Whether it makes sense or not, I don't care because it was blind faith. 
believing something is real without reasoning without basis you just believe yeah if uh, that's why the pastors the ministers are robbing you if you give god will multiply which god instead of giving to god open savings account give that to your uh, to your savings account you see the bank will be multiplying it. its savings right they, they, will, they will be they will be eating you increase it will be eating your profit but giving to god have you seen anyone that giving to god has better their life just like praying for god to do anything have you seen anyone of family that prayer has helped their family no no unless they lie they tell you it's god that is blessing them why that why that the one that is hustling struggling making it some in africa some in abroad and they say it is god it's not god somebody help them they say god use that person to help them somebody intervene they say it is god it's the work of god you can't understand how god was then why are you saying it is god when you don't or you don't understand or you can't understand how god works how then why are you attributing that to god something happened naturally something happened by chance you say it's miracle it's not which miracle which miracle? Which God? You have to wake up, my people. And know that blind faith is dangerous. Very dangerous. Faith. Don't have proof. Faith don't have any tangible evidence to give to you. All it has is delusion hallucination and claim when you are delusional you are bound to be hallucinating that means you'll be hearing voices and the same visions based on whatever delusion you hold on to you haven't seen god but you have that picture of god in your head when you read the bible when people preach about god those pictures are recorded in your head then when you sleep in the night or in the day when you take a nap you can see that dream you can see that god in your dream the god you made because man made god the god you saw in your dream or you will see in your dream is the one you have made it does not exist anywhere in reality it's the one you make in your mind the origin of God, the foundation of God, the beginning of God, the house of God is in the mind of man. There is no God in any heaven. There's no God in any sky except in your head. Blind faith is dangerous. If God can do all things, can God drive this car without me doing anything? That's when you can say God can do all things. A God that cannot provide your need. A God that cannot solve your problem. Yet you are saying that God is real. And you begin to say, I pray one day God will open your eyes. I pray that you have prayer help your own, your own life. See how you are suffering. Especially you that is living in Nigeria as we speak. You that is living in Africa as we speak. Has prayer helped your life? Tell me one thing prayer has done for you. It's all wish you have, all feelings you have. That's what you have because you have blind faith. And that's why you are easily manipulated by all these criminals you call men of God. That's why you are easily manipulated by all those magic books they wrote and you call them Christian materials or religious books. They're manipulating you easily because you have blind faith. You believe something that is not real is real delusion. You begin to hear voices and see visions that are not real hallucination. And you begin to claim what is not yours, that is what does not belong to you, what you don't have, you say you have it. You can claim whatever, but when the owner comes, you cannot you can you cannot have it. The owner will take back what belongs to him. Then you go look for yours. 
You can claim you have this, you have that. Okay. You can tell somebody, see, that car is my own. That house is my own. Okay. Let us go and drive now. <laughs> then we will know whether it's your own. You are defending your claim without proof because you have blind faith. It's not your own. You can claim anything. My God can do all things. Okay. You are sick now. So, so why are you going to the hospital? Why are you crying? Like people that don't believe, even worse than the people that don't believe in that God. Huh? Why? You have to tell yourself the truth and stop deluding yourself. Blind faith is dangerous to you. It makes you behave like animals. It makes you reason like animals. It makes you begin to see something that is not real as though they are real. You are real. The sun, you see, the is real. Do you see us arguing about the sunshine? Do you see us arguing about the rising and the setting of the sun? No. Why do we argue about God, Jesus, all these imaginary beings, uh, different religions are preaching? Because they are not real. If, they, if God is real, do you think I'll be saying what I'm saying? No. If God is real, of course, I'll be, I'll be, I'll be delighted to have that God. But you're telling me it's when I died. Or you're telling me one day. Which day? You didn't give me any date. You're telling me that God can do can do certain things. Or that God is one that has been helping me. That is keeping me alive. But when I sit down and think over my life. I have paid for every crime I ever committed as a human being. I have suffered the consequences of all my decisions. Yes, I have been imprisoned. I have been locked up in police cells. I have, I have suffered. Even suffered for eating the wrong food. Yes. Are you telling me God is doing it? No, that's what they taught us to believe. As I said yesterday, we learned that from our parents. Because we believe our parents, we trusted our parents. Who doesn't trust their parents? Our parents gave us all that crap. And you want me to live and die? with it i refuse it is time you think and stop thinking because of faith it's time you use your brain and stop using their book it is time you use your mind and stop letting them manipulating you with fear and empty promises yeah god is a consuming fire you see, in the Bible, God dealt with this. God dealt with that person. Fuck that God. A God that deals with people shouldn't be your God. Mm -mm. You should trash that God. A God that turned human being into beast. You should trash that God. Don't fear that God anymore. I know the reason why you believe in God is because you have fear of God. Your parents taught you fear of God, your religious leaders, and people that you valued so much growing up, they all believe in God. You see the president of country, the educated people, they believe in God. Then you see how life in the world is. Is it not because they are delusional? That's why you see people suffering. Despite the plenty we have in the world, there's no reason for any single person, any single soul to suffer in this world. Let me use the term soul because that's what most of you understand. There's no reason for any soul to suffer in this world. But the people that are your leaders, are they not educated ones? But people like me that don't know how to speak English that to suit you. You'll be mocking us and it, then see your life. All those educated leaders, they are also operating by blind faith. You see them, like the president of America, they cannot finish their speech without saying, God bless the United States of America. Which God are they talking about? And they educated. They went to high, uh, you know, higher institutions. They claim to be smart, yet they believe in imaginary God. Because that's what their parents taught them. And they grew up seeing that society accepted it as true. Christmas, it's Christmas season. You see people, uh, the red-nosed reindeer, all that. Adults. 
Even you see the Mercedes when you look look at their commercial in America here, they use rent there as their commercial and adults accepting it. Some already know it's not true, but anyway, it's commercial. But they are planting a lot of shit on people. What's up, big dog? What's up, man? How you doing? I'm good. How you? Thanks for last time you staying today. I leave at four. Okay. So think about it. People that use a value, their parents, religious leaders, politicians, or uh, those in authority, you think they know better. You they speak English, they 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 they, they, they tell you all their all the things they have earned in life. They are they they they, they have traveled all over the world. Yet they still believe in imaginary God, imaginary beings. These people have to sit in exam to end whatever they have. But yet believe God, there is God that is doing something else. Some call it spirituality. Oh, there is another reality beyond this natural one. Fuck that reality. I mean, spirituality. Spiritual reality, queer. No, I'm not living in a spiritual world. I'm not a spiritual being having human experience. I'm a human being. I don't need spiritual experience. I don't need to be spiritual. I am spirit. I don't need to be spiritual. Understand that blind faith is dangerous. It will destroy you. No one that is talking about God has seen that God they're talking about. And no God has come and tell you, I am this or I am the one that is said that is doing anything. No God has done that. And yet you keep believing that there, there is God. You know what I suffered. You suffered either because of what you did directly or indirectly. Sometimes you suffer because of what somebody else did. That doesn't mean it's a spirit, spiritual thing. Wake up. Blind faith. You see, many relationships have been destroyed because of blind faith. You dream, you see your wife becoming nasty in the dream, or your husband doing nasty things in the dream, and you wake up believing that dream. Oh, whatever I dream will always come to pass, and you see it coming to pass. You are the one that gave your power to that negative force. You are the one that gave your power to that negative dream. You are the one that gave your power to that delusion and the hallucination you are having and that claim it's time you trash those nonsense and those bullshit they taught us from childhood and live your life blind faith is dangerous but factual truth is delicious mm. i eat it daily see how my life is now yes i'm not it's not empty bragging look at my mace if you know my age bring anyone who is my 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 mate who have blind faith that is living by faith that look better than me no none of them and when i appear they think i have more than them but they don't know i'm just enjoying that delicious meal called factual truth it's so delicious and i don't want you to keep missing it it is time it is very easy just activate your brain begin to ask questions question everything and everything and worship nothing ask questions you know research everything don't just swallow things because somebody said that no so those pastors are always lying, always saying the Lord spoke. The Lord did not say anything to them. They are criminals. Anyone that said the Lord spoke to them, they are criminals. Some of them are ignorant though. Some of them, just like they are living by blind faith. That's what they, they were trained to believe from childhood. So that's what they know. They hear a voice in their head, the Lord said. They hear the voice of their conscience, the Lord said. They sleep, imagining what, how church service will be tomorrow. And they begin to see some dream, uh, have some, some pictures in the dream. They wake up, say, the Lord said, last night I was with the Lord. The Lord said, which Lord? It's time you wake up, my people, and live your life. Blind faith is dangerous. But knowledge is the greatest, especially the knowledge of self. Know yourself. When you know yourself, they will not easily manipulate you. They will not manipulate you anymore because you can ask questions. Now, when you ask questions, they get upset and they let you go. They know you are no longer a sheep. You are now a lion of your own tribe. <clears throat> you stand. Peace.